Are you in search of best and wonderful Linux distribution for your PC or laptop? There are numerous Linux distros out there in the market which offer a wide variety of features. But all of them work the same way, but aesthetically it's not eye-pleasing. Unlike Windows 10 and Mac OS, it's not so easy to choose the best flavor of Linux for personal computing. For beginners, it's quite intimidating to choose the best Linux distro. Being an open source, Linux has a large community base which extensively works on different distributions for its users to provide the best services. Every distribution works so hard by putting their efforts to make the Linux comfortable for desktop users. Today in this video, I'm here to show you the top 6 best wonderful Linux distros of 2020 that are more intuitive, refined, and gives a stunningly beautiful desktop experience of Linux operating system. All of these operating systems, which I will be presenting in a moment, can be used for personal computing, multimedia consumption, and programming. Without a further ado, let's get into more. Now on the top list we're having Ferenovas. It is a polished and well-stocked Linux distro that comes close to being an ideal replacement for Microsoft Windows and Mac OS. This impressive Linux OS is a very attractive replacement for any Linux distro. Ferran OS is a great looking Linux distro that's ideal for people switching from Windows to Linux. It gives you a desktop designed to be unique but familiar by default. No matter what major operating system you come from, Ferran has a great look to get you started with so that you can get working right away on your daily task in a familiar environment. Ferran OS is made by British developers and is based on the latest Ubuntu LTS and uses a KDE Plasma desktop environment with major tweaks. It provides a stunning visual graphics that no other Linux distro does offer in the industry. Every element of the user interface is incredibly amazing. Just take a look at the Ferran OS desktop which is absolutely next level. Now, by default, Ferran OS supports a blur effect in different areas of the user interface. Thanks to Ferran developers, they have taken KDE Plasma to the next level by adding a ready-made skins, themes, styles, desktop layouts, and more. Now, within the settings, you get to see an option called Themes. This setting allows us to choose a wide variety of themes that are pre-installed in the system. Along with the standard KDE themes, the friend team has their personal of themes which does change the look of the user interface, accent colors, and more. Overall, I would say Ferran OS is one of its kind that comes out of the box with a lot of surprises and you will definitely enjoy it using this Linux distro. At number 2, we're having Solus. Solus is a brand new Linux distribution written from the ground up, uses the latest generic Linux kernel 5.4. It is an independent Linux distro, meaning it doesn't rely on any Debian, Arch, or Red Hat. Solus 4.1 is currently the latest release from the team that delivers a brand new desktop experience, updated software stacks, and better hardware support. Solus comes in different flavors like Budgie, Gnome, Mate, and KDE Plasma. And the Budgie desktop is the default environment of Solus derived from Gnome stacks. It gives a level of comfort that will help in customizing the user interface according to your fancy. Inside the app drawer, it provides an option to tweak the user interface using Budgie desktop settings. Using this setting, you can customize the appearance of widgets, icons, animations, and more. Now let's take a look at the style section. You can choose the theme for widgets to change the look of the user interface, and these are a few themes available by default. When it comes to applications, it ships with the latest version of the free LibreOffice suite so that you can work on your documents, spreadsheets, and presentations right away. For developers, with Solus, you can spend less time setting up tooling and more time coding. And also it supports a wide variety of editors, programming languages, compilers, and version control systems. 
Also, the built-in package manager, Evo PKG, lets you easily install or uninstall any package you want at any time. At number 3, we are having Endeavor OS. It is based on Arch Linux that is available for free. Endeavor OS is a terminal-centric Linux distro, and it doesn't offer a graphical user interface out of the box. But the team has created an installer that will let you install any type of desktop environment during the installation procedure. This way, you can choose your favorite desktop environment like XFCE, KDE Plasma, Deepin, and more. The installer is designed beautifully and works both offline and online. Since Endeavor OS uses Pacman, so installing and updating packages is very simple via terminal. The latest edition of Endeavor OS supports a kernel 5.6 and brings a many hardware support to the board. Overall, I would feel it's one of the coolest Arch-based Linux distro that you should start using for personal computing. At number 4, we are having Pop OS 2004. Pop OS 2020 is developed by System76, which is based on Linux Ubuntu 2004. It offers a minimal features, and most importantly, it's a minimal Linux distro and focuses on what's important, meaning the desktop feels very smooth. Since Pop OS is based on Ubuntu 2004 with better optimizations made to GNOME desktop environment, that indeed feels more fluid and provides a rock-solid experience. System76 has the freedom to tweak the Pop! OS to better service customers. Overall, I would say Pop! OS is the fastest Linux distro which I have ever used. Unlike Ubuntu, Pop! OS feels much responsive and the latest edition of Pop! OS 2004 comes with a bunch of new features which include the auto-tiling, workspaces, and more. So if you're a software developer or a beginner to programming who wants to write some code, then I would recommend Pop! OS without thinking of any. If you want to see a full review of Pop! OS 2004, I'll leave a link to the video in the description down below. Go ahead, watch it and find out more. At number 5, we're having Manjaro Linux. Manjaro is an open source Linux distribution based on Arch Linux, providing all the benefits of cutting edge software. Unlike proprietary operating systems, you have a full control over your hardware without restrictions. This makes it ideal for users who want to learn how Linux works and how it is different from other operating systems. It is also best suited for beginners who want to try out the Linux for the first time. One of the interesting things about Manjaro is that there are thousands of software applications available in the software center, including a full compatible equivalence of popular Windows software such as MS Office. Now, Manjaro is available in different flavors of the desktop. You can choose XFCE, GNOME, and KDE Plasma. Now, my recommendation would be a KDE Plasma, which helps in customizing the desktop according to your fancy. Overall, I would say Manjaro is a unique Arch-dependent Linux distro, which is completely user-friendly. From beginners to high-end users, anyone can use it without the need of getting confused. And last but not the least, we're having the most popular Linux distro, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is based on Debian Linux that provides a minimal user interface that is considered to be the most friendly Linux distro for every consumer. From students to beginners, or from computer science students to software professionals, everyone does rely on this distro. Ubuntu is available in different flavors of the desktop environment. 
I mean, this is the beauty of Linux. But by default, Canonical ships Ubuntu with the latest GNOME environment, which is considered to be as a fast and reliable. It's very minimal and easy to operate. Ubuntu is more centric in providing the super compatible desktop experience to the end user. Thanks to its wide range of support across the community and the developers are working so hard to make it more useful and productive. There are so many open source packages that are available for free and can be downloaded very easily. And one of the highlights of Ubuntu is the software updates. Once you install Ubuntu LTS release on your PC or laptop, you will be supported for up to 5 years. This is the ultimate power of Linux and is absolutely available for free. If in case you want to know more about Ubuntu 2004, check the link to the video in the description down below. And that's pretty much it. These are my top 6 best wonderful Linux distros of 2020 that you should start using today. By the way, if you want to see the full in-depth review of each Linux distro, you can check the links to the video in the description box down below. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KS Kirail. I'm going to catch you in my next one. Peace. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right It feels right